the plea from the art consultant is always, please, 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 if in doubt, call us earlier. You might not engage us earlier, just get us involved earlier because we can actually integrate what we're doing into the overall process. Um, a couple of examples of that, maybe if we turn to um, Clarence Dock, which is one of our projects. But basically here we have an interesting challenge. Uh, we have an existing monolithic structure in Leeds. I don't know how many of you know Leeds in, in, in Northern England, which is the National Armoury. Now, I haven't got lots of slides with slides it, but it's a huge kind of concrete, some kind of dialogue between the National Armoury, which sat like this kind of picture house right in the middle, um, and the community around it, and the new community that was being built. And the way we addressed that, there were two things we had to do. One was to enliven this kind of deathly landscape, so we injected a bit of humour. But we'll come back to that in a moment. The other thing was actually to talk to the armories in the community and actually engage someone in the process of getting the local schools and getting the local community and working with artists that were embedded in the team and actually creating a series of workshops where the local children and their teachers came in to understand what this national armory was. You know, they'd been sitting there for five years, if not longer. Uh, and we did a series of art-based workshops where the children were asked to draw what they thought war was, what they thought weapons were. The teachers then used that as part of their curriculum. And out of that, those series of workshops came up. A series of artworks that were then engraved, embossed, added into all the, what's called street furniture, which I think is a horrible word, but basically all the chairs, all the seating places, all the alcoves that, that separated these two communities. And was a very successful art example of getting involved early with the master plan, with the community, and actually validating the artwork. But you, you hate the phrase public art. This essentially was public art, but it had to be validated, otherwise people would just pee on it, scrawl on it, you know, and increasingly now the biggest problem of all is skateboard across it. Um, but which is fun, but you need to make sure people have enough respect for the stuff once to face it. So that was an interesting project. One other project I'd like to touch on. Um, is actually one that hasn't been realized by us because it's a PFI initiative, it took forever, almost killed us. And it's um, a project for the North Bristol, this is, again is in England, in the west of England, a big new hospital um, in its page at the moment. So it checks 28, which might take a while. But here is a brand new hospital being built. It's, it's a combination of three old hospitals that's actually being built right now. And we are asked again by, by actually by Scansia to come in and help them and the client and the Nightingales, the architects, trying to come up with some way of inject, injecting art into the medical environment. That's something you know well. And I think that, again, just to stress the consult consultation, it was really important for us to get actually understand the theory, the kind of some real palliative benefits of artwork, and actually you know, understanding some of the research about how you can reduce the need for analgesics, how turnaround time is increased if you actually make people feel better about their environment. And that could be putting nice landscapes on their curtains, or as they come out of the CAT scanner, or as they go into the CAT scanner, providing them something that's a little bit more uplifting before they go into this kind of tunnel of doom, you know, that they sit in humming away, getting hot for a while. Um, so the process there was, let's actually work with the users, the medics, doctors, the nurses, as well as the architects, as well as the clients that was trying the NHS Trust, and actually try and introduce some colour, some colour that had function, so we used textiles, reduced the clattering corridors, to actually recognise that the time when doctors need the most help is when they actually come out of surgery, so they're, all, they're as traumatised as the patients, and so initially there was no budget for artwork in the back of house, a case was made to make sure that the doctors and the medics and the nurses actually had a nice environment to collapse into once they've been kind of cauterizing wounds. So two points on collaboration, which is you can't do enough of it, you can't get in early enough, and if you do it well, you create some real, really demonstrative benefits and you validate what you're doing. So I think I just endorse that.